going on guys? Today we're going to take the outlet and move it up here and as well as the coax up above behind the TV. And the reason we're going to do that is we can get rid of the ugly cords that we see here and move them all behind the TV that way there's nothing below it and it makes it less of an eyesore. How we're going to do that is we're going to take one of these commercial boxes and they have wings on them and then once you uh, cut out a hole in the drywall between the studs to fit this in there, you'll take the screws and you'll screw them essentially all the way in and it'll bring this flap in and out and it'll hold it against the drywall. So that way it doesn't come out. And then what you can do is take, we'll show you, we'll take the, the power from the bottom outlet and move it on up to the top outlet as well. Kind of piggyback it. We'll show you that right now. The first step in doing this is we gotta unplug everything. So I have this extension cord plugged into outlets, multiple outlets. Go ahead and unplug those. What we'll do is we'll take this outlet or extension cord and we're gonna do a surge protector above the TV. So we unplug everything. And then we'll go ahead and unplug the cracks cable. And then I can make it easy on us and unplug the HDMI cables. Next step is to take the outlet cover off. Then you can take one of these non-contact AC voltage detectors. Very important to have. Let's see if we have any power, which we do. Before we take this outlet out, I'm going to turn off the breaker. Now, if you want to, you can buy, I have a digital circuit breaker finder. You have multiple things that go with it. You got the breaker finder and you got the outlet plug-in. So you take the outlet plug-in, plug into the outlet, it lights up. I take this downstairs and then I go through and scan the breaker panel and it will find that. All right, sorry for the little light in here. But we'll take the circuit finder and then I'm gonna very slowly go down until I find proper one. So it's telling me the attic fan Actually, no, I'm sorry. Master bedroom plugs is the right one. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. All right, notice the power light out on the transmitter. That's good news. Let's double check here. No power, that is good news. Now let's remove the outlet. And this is the outlet we're gonna piggyback the power off of to, to the TV. So that essentially you're gonna have this outlet here as well the outlet up, up above the TV. They actually have more than two lines going to it. So they've piggybacked this already twice. So that's either probably going to the light switch but we're gonna go ahead and piggyback it anyways. I'm gonna take, use the other screw and we'll hold left. Go ahead and piggyback it. So I'm gonna take this all the way out, make it nice and easy to get through. So what we're gonna need to do is figure out where on the wall behind the TV, we're gonna put that outlet. We also don't want it too low, we also don't want it too high so you can see it. So we wanted to make sure based on the bracket, how far up, so probably put it about hand width up, that'll allow us to uh, easily plug in behind the TV. Now we're gonna remove the TV from the wall. My bracket plates, they use these little pull-down chains to unlock. That'll allow me to move the TV off of the bracket. So I'm going to move it off the bracket, lift it above, and set it aside. Now we're gonna take the box and put it about hand length up. So I'm essentially gonna draw 
Now, I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm gonna draw kind of a square along the lines here and not get the tabs, but we're gonna draw around the outside so that'll fit in there nice and snug. But also we wanna make sure I get this between the studs that are in the same as where the power's coming from. So let's do that first, let's find the studs. So there is a stud, we already know there's a stud right there. And that is the stud of the outlet down below, what it's mounted to. So we're gonna wanna go further over here and there's not another stud, another 16 inches right there. So we have all this room right here to put an outlet. So we're probably gonna put it about right here. So what I'm gonna do is before I start drawing that line on this, I'm gonna make sure it's level. So it looks at least somewhat neat. It's level now. Take my pencil and start drawing. Now I've got the outline that I need. Now what I use is a drywall saw and I'm gonna start cutting that out very carefully and I'll be able to put that in there. So what I went ahead and did is I put a screw in the middle so that way when I cut this out I can pull the remaining piece out instead of letting it fall down in the middle of the wall. Nice and easy, cut out the drywall along the lines. Next thing's gonna be is can I essentially fish this down through the hole to the small little hole down here on the outlet. If I can, I'm in good shape. All right, now that I fished it through the bottom, go ahead and cut it out, cut it off. Cause we're gonna want to fish this through the bottom of the new outlet plug. Obviously don't cut off the least amount. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a little bit. And then we're good there. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm going ahead and poke the hole out here so I can fish this through and finish this install right here. Nice thing to do is screw this thing all the way in so you can get the plastic going on it. And then screw it all the way out. Before you install it or else you might get it in there and get it stripped and cockeyed. All right, now that's in there. We'll go ahead and bring this to the bottom of my box. And then I can get as much as I possibly can without bringing it to the bottom. And set this thing in place. There we go. That's in there. So what I do is I go ahead, I have a lot more access than I need, I'll pull the rest of it out. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut as much as I possibly can out of, enough, I mean, out of here. Ow. All right, now we can pen the outlet with new wire. Now, most outlets now have little pins on the back. You can just press in the wire instead of curling around on this. So black goes to the cold side and then the white goes to the non-gold side. So we'll just go ahead and pin it. Make sure it goes in. And then we'll go ahead and pin the other side. There, put the rest in there, 
Now I need to take the ground and essentially make a circle with it. What goes wrong? the ground in obviously. It's tight. Good to go there. All the way. And now make sure the ground doesn't touch the outside. And there we go. We have an outlet now. Now one thing is we'll uh, hook it on the bottom. Hook it in on the bottom. And I got a tester that'll test it and make sure the ground works hot and the low side works correctly. This is the end result after you hide the wires behind the wall. As you can see, if you're going to want to do the same project, you're going to make sure that the outlet that you want to pull the power from and your coax is below your TV so you can hide them up through the wall, through the studs. If the outlet is further away, you're most likely going to have to put the box, outlet box further away, like right there or on the other side. But either way, Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit like if you like the video. Subscribe for videos like this. And I'll see you next time.